So hi, I'm Gabriel from the Society of Biological Engineering and uh, it is a pleasure to present to you the 2016 Bailey Award winner, Sanya Lee from uh, the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, CASE, and he's a professor and director of the Department of Chemical and Bio Biomolecular Engineering. So, hi, Sanya. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, so, Sanya, what does it mean to you to receive the James E. Bailey Award? Well, well, personally, it is uh, indeed a great honor, but uh, I think the award is given to, obviously, not to myself, but the work which was done by me and also uh, former group members and present group members at KAIST. So I think uh, basically award recognizing the uh, overall contribution we have been making over the last 20 some years. So we are very much honored to uh, receive this award. Well, that's very humble of you. Thanks for uh, bringing all of your, uh, your partners in these works. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about the hot topic research that you're doing in your lab? I know you do a lot, so maybe a few. Right, so uh, we have been mainly focusing on metabolic engineering of microorganisms to uh, produce something that can be useful with respect to uh, industrial applications or medicinal applications. And uh, I would say that uh, we have been combining in silico and also wet experimental work together at the uh, uh, systems level by taking uh, what I have been learning when I was in school, this chemical engineering discipline, and try to optimize everything from the perspectives of uh, the very great success of chemical engineering uh, practice. And uh, nowadays we are more focusing on uh, uh, materials that can be used for healthcare applications because I think we have shown uh, enough examples on uh, replacing uh, fossil-based chemicals. Of course, I'm not saying that uh, we finished all of those, but we are now sort of moving towards more complex molecules which could not be accessed previously by uh, uh, biological synthesis or chemical synthesis. So those are sort of the topics, but not limited to those, and we also work on inorganics. Because the uh, biological system being organic system, usually we end up producing some organic chemicals, but we are now also working on producing inorganic chemicals or materials such as uh, metal nanoparticles for various uses. So a lot of interesting things are uh, going on at KAIST. Oh, great. It's really nice to hear from it. Um, another thing that people are usually curious about, so um, how about um, from your bachelor to now professor and director of, of an important department. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your history in Korean So, uh, yes, I graduated uh, Seoul National University to finish my bachelor's degree, and then I went to the uh, U.S. according to the suggestion and advice, advice from uh, my uh, advisor at undergraduate course. And he suggested to uh, go to Northwestern to do uh, actually process design and synthesis, which what I was interested in at the time. And then when I arrived in Northwestern, the professor who was majoring in that discipline slightly changed the uh, research topic of interest. And that topic did not match my interest. So I was looking for something different. And then uh, Professor Terry Papuchakis, who is my former advisor, came from Rice University and he said he's doing biochemical engineering. And I didn't know what biochemical engineering was because I didn't do any subject study or anything related to biology when I was doing undergrad. But it sounded interesting, so I took a challenge. I really enjoyed it very much. And then I love, you know, doing independent research of my own interest. So I decided to go to university, became professor. And I love teaching students, especially uh, working together uh, to develop something new. And all the high students are just a genius. I'm probably the, uh, the worst person in the entire KAIST as far as intellectual level is concerned. But uh, just it's a great pleasure to work with the students. That's why I do professorship, even though from time to time I was asked to uh, join industry. Of course, with lots of pay, right? But I still love uh, my students, working with them. 
and that's why I'm here at KAIST. And I run a couple of centers. I also served as a dean of uh, not only college, but also uh, uh, sort of interdisciplinary fusion research institutes. So it is funny that KAIST already has Korea's best institute of science and technology, but this is such an interesting institute, we named it as KAIST Institutes. Mm -hmm. So it has a dual uh, institute in it. And it has you know, a lot of uh, uh, cross-disciplinary institutes, such as Institute for Biocentury will have bio at the core, but it will have chemistry, physics, mathematics, even uh, humanity and river arts coming in to develop something really nice. We have the same thing for nanotech and IT and all others. So that is a great uh, discipline where I serve for Dean to steer what we can deliver, especially in the year of fourth industrial revolution. So I, I have enjoyed uh, what I've been doing. Enjoyed the ride. And then um, one last thing that I think would be interested is for the younger chemical engineer who are listening to us, do you have a few advice if they want a similar career to yours? Well, I think uh, because we live once, or maybe genetic engineering will do something different, but let's assume that we live once. Then you want to have your life when you are going to somewhere else, you want to make sure that you did your life really well, right? So uh, I would always suggest that uh, think what you want to be and what you want to achieve other than, uh, of course, love in the family and others. As far as your career is concerned, what you want to achieve. So always think that. And of course, people always say that do what you like, then you will be successful. Actually, you can turn it around as well. Like what you do. That actually can change your career significantly. Sometimes people stop doing things because they thought that, well, maybe I can do something better if I finish this and do something else. And what I observed over the last 25 years of uh, you know, advising students, some students uh, actually do not exert the threshold effort and then think that this is not the topic I'm interested in. But actually that's the topic he is interested in. But he just didn't put enough effort to enjoy the success. So I would suggest that maybe sometimes you have to like what you do instead of do what you like. This is a very original advice. Thank you so much for uh, this interview. I really appreciate it. I hope that you like it too. Thank you.